You got the mini burger today, huh? I did get the mini burger today. It's a Gaetano special. Yes, the Called five napkin burger. That, I'm looking at this. It might take more than five napkins. I mean, when they brought yours out first, I was thinking, God, what would I tell you? I said, that's, that's, a, that's a great looking burger. I did. And then after I told them to surprise me, wow, they surprised they surprise me. They surprised you. I have burger envy right now. I really have burger envy. I can understand but this why. This is just ridiculous. So let's get to it. You let's know? get to it. I've Another heard such uh, wonderful thing. Big about weekend. Grill. I'm gonna have to end up probably tearing this apart. Actually, I'm gonna try. You you talk, and I'm gonna try to see if I can get a bite mm. off of this. This is gonna be fun just to watch. Another huge weekend. Huge weekend. I have to lock my jaw. Alabama beat LSU in overtime. If anybody didn't see it. Of course, we say that while I have a burger. <laughs> right of course, I did. Uh, we're here at Gaetano Grill. We're up on uh, Highway uh, 28 here in uh, Jones County. Uh, wonderful uh, to have us out here. Burgers look fantastic. Got on my face. You <laughs> guru may have something a little on his face right now. That thing is a monster. It's good. There's a lot going on out here at Gaetano Grill. Uh, you know, for Thanksgiving, they're going to have a Thanksgiving lunch special on the 25th, which is Tuesday. Uh, the people out here are wonderful. The food is fantastic. Having, having a band. I was going to say, I heard they're having a band this <laughs> weekend. Got the Davis County Band and uh, Mr. Silly Socks, who I thought was Kelvin, our producer. It may not? actually be, but it turns out it isn't. Huh. Mr. Silly Socks is going to be here Saturday, but we sure do appreciate Gaitano Grill for having us out here. What I understand opened up especially for us this afternoon. I don't know if that Goodness. says a lot for us or... Or says a lot for them. Probably says a lot for them. Well, the food is fantastic. The food is phenomenal. And what goes best with food? These Football. Handmade onion rings, the five napkin burger, which... I think I'm gonna have to eat it piece by piece. I think you're gonna need five napkins, a fork, a knife, an echocardiogram machine, <laughs> and M-Serve. I just saw M-Serve drive past here, so maybe they'll cart us both home. Well, as good as the food is here at Gaetano Grill, I think the action on the gridiron this Friday night's gonna be uh, pretty darn good itself. What time is it? Playoff what time is time. it? Playoff time, mm -hmm. absolutely. Three Jones County teams in the playoffs on Friday night. Start over between the bricks. Law, who run Region 3-5A, will be hosting East Central. East Central's a team that beat Picayune a couple of weeks ago. Still, I haven't figured that one out. But if I'm looking at this one on paper, I love the way Laurel's playing. Looked like they had a really fantastic effort against West Jones the other night. Uh, so many weapons, so dangerous on offense. If you can't stop them, it's going to be a long, long night. And I'm going to look for Laurel pretty big in this one. I, I know East Central did beat Picayune, but that very well could have been a, a situation where Picayune went into the game going, eh, it's East Central. Probably. You know, and um, Overlooked came out them. lethargic. And I'm going to agree with you. I think uh, Laurel will be too much for East Central to handle. If, they, if West Jones and as good of a defense as they have out there in so-so couldn't stop the passing attack of Laurel, I don't really give East Central much of a chance either. Oh, and look, and you, you leave your phone on while, while we're filming? Really? Rookie. Rookie mistake. Rookie, I mean, this is episode 11, and you make a rookie mistake. I feel like I'm eating a Crystal Burger compared <laughs> to that thing. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh. Speaking of the Mustangs, they'll be on the road. Uh, uh, one, the lone free state team on the road as they go down to the coast and uh, take on Pascagoula. Um, Gula. <laughs> Gula. Coach Pearson said Gula has a, uh, a very strong defense, brings up a lot of concerns for the Mustangs. I don't know. I mean, that's a tough one to call. I've, I haven't seen Gula play at all. I, I don't know what to expect. Seen the Mustangs several times. When West Jones is playing well, when the quarterback is healthy, when everything is clicking, they're a dangerous team. I uh, don't know much about Gula. They're on the coast. They have a good record. Uh, finished second in their division. Um, looking for a good game. Uh, how's the uh, health of uh, the quarterback, McLaurin? How did he look uh, Friday night? He, I know he, was he a little seemed ginger. a lot more uh, mobile than I was expecting. Uh, played well. Um, rushed for over 100 yards. Threw for like 250. So I, I agree with you. If McLaurin can go at or above 90%, I don't think he has to be a full 100%, but if, he, if he's able to go, throw the ball downfield, I like the Mustangs' chances on the road. And you know... What happens if the Mustangs and Tornadoes win? Every Jones County fan, whether they're a Tiger or Brave, they want 
they should want Wes Jones to win. So if Wes Jones wins and Laura wins, next Friday night, we're back here in Jones County. Back to so-so. <laughs> Two weeks after the uh, uh, first one. And that'll be another rumble if it happens. Absolutely. And that'll be wonderful. So keep Jones County, keep uh, Wes Jones winning, Laura winning, and let's rock. This is creating a rumble right here. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm not going back to the office with you this <laughs> afternoon. I wouldn't either. Well, the only other uh, local team left is Northeast Jones. Had a huge opening round win uh, last Friday over North Pike. And now they got St. Stanislaus. Oh. Rocket Chaw is coming in at 10 and 1. A very prolific passing attack. They have a 6 3 quarterback, three receivers that go between 6 2 and 6 4. I don't know. And who I knows? Don't know, Murph. Who knows where from the country they are? I hear they uh, like to uh, attract uh, athletes with their academic standards. No, they would there. never do that. No, no, they would never do anything like that. Basketball, football, doesn't matter. They would never do anything. They're tough. They throw the ball up, very disciplined, very well coached. A uh, little surprise that they were actually a number two seed down there, um, but I'm. Um, I like. I still just like Northeast. I like the defense is well. I can't really say the defense is playing too off well after last week, giving up 51. But but it's still one. And you saw heart and desire last week. They did not. They were not going to lose. They went down 17 to nothing. Quick. I mean, it was fast. It was uh, about halfway through the first quarter, and it was 17 to nothing. They never gave in. Um, my man Reggio, the beast, the from, beast northeast, from northeast, six touchdowns, more than 200 yards rushing, ran until he got almost passed out and got up and somehow came back and played the rest of the game. And I already checked today. He is good to go for Friday. Oh, I bet he was sore Saturday morning. But, you know, sometimes to get a win, you know, you have to put it all on the line, and that's what makes champions is, is people willing to go out and put it all on the line. And, uh, I was impressed with that, uh, with them being able to come so back. So you like Northeast to uh, knock off Stanislaus? Uh, you know, I don't pick high school uh, football. It's going to be tough. I'll put it It's going to be really tough. For Coach Braddock's sake and them, them guys out at Northeast, they do a great job. This will be, without a doubt, their, their toughest game since the first two they played, which were Weston and Lower. So, or first two out of three. So how do you see? I'm not picking. I'm not that crazy like you are. Tigers at home in the jungle. They had great student support last week. Here I go with the uh, utensils again. I'll just set that down. I like them at home again. Uh, I got a good vibe from Coach Braddock, and I think they're going to do it. I'm, I'm telling you, I think there's something special about this team. You know, all it takes is a couple plays here or there. And I like the Tigers at home to. Uh, Knock off St. Stanis. I almost said upset, but I mean, it's, it's high school football. It's not really an upset. But uh, I'm going to go with the Tigers. I think they'll take care of business and, I like and live to play another round against the winner of uh, McGee and Forest County. A very fortuitous matchup if they can get there. Would be uh, nice. Well, big Thursday night game, Murph. Wow. Southern Miss. On Thursday night football playing, on CBS Sports. Playing Utsa. 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 At the University of Texas San Antonio. I thought it was Tennessee uh, Sam I am. St. Aloysius? Yeah, yeah, Tennessee St. Aloysius. Texas San Antonio. Don't know anything about them. I bet they play in San Antonio. It's possible. I tell you what's intriguing, though. The game opened up as a four point spread on Monday. And as of right now, it's already jumped to nine. A five-point swing in less than 24 hours. Hmm. Usually those big swings are by a lot of uh, money money going one way or the other. And it begs, begs the question, who's betting Southern Miss UTSA in the first place? That's a good question. You think it's Phyllis? You think it's Phyllis uh, trying to make some money back no, for her? No, she's going to let it all ride on that <laughs> game that we're going to talk about at the end. I don't understand. I like USM on the road Thursday night in front of a huge national audience. Love to see the Nielsen ratings after this one. Uh, I'm picking the upset. UTSA, Utsa. one and three at home this year. Southern Miss, one and four on the road. However, that one win was in the state of Texas, and I'm going to agree with the Murph. The Golden Eagles are going to take down Utsa on Thursday night. Utsa, 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 take a walk. Utsa, take a Utsa walk. Utsa to Uta. Utsa to Uta. I tell you what. They're not really as many marquee top 20, top 25 matchups. Can, can, can you see that? Like we've, I see that. Okay. I see that. Like we've uh, had over the last few weeks. But there are some really good SEC games this Saturday. Starting off with 
LSU on the road at Arkansas. Arkansas has been so close all season long. Is this the day? This is, is this the one? This is the one. I think so. I've always said Arkansas at home is a completely different team than Arkansas on the road. If this game were in Baton Rouge, I'd say no chance. But Arkansas. The odds makers agree with you. And you're, I think you're, you said it very well. Is they've been so close, so close, but they haven't been there. And this is going to be the one. I'm sorry, Guru. I hate to do it. You know, I'm back rooting for LSU now that after last week, Alabama, 19-13 overtime, by the way. Or 20-13 to 13 overtime, my mistake. <laughs> That's just one point. Just one point. But I'm, uh, so I'm taking Arkansas in the kind of upset, but not really. Battle for the boot goes to the Hogs. I'm not that upset by hearing you say that because this game does scare me, especially after LSU coming off such uh, being amped up ready to go than a physical Oof. overtime game Oof. against Alabama. But come on. There's no way in Hades I'm picking Arkansas. Go Tigers <laughs> on the road. Keep the boot. Have a cheese curd. Oh, I will. What's so, happening over here? I, I've, mm -hmm. I've destroyed the buns it's and burger I can't mash. pick it it's up. Burger it's mash. burger mash. So I'm having to I pick see, it you up. Got LSU. That's good. We're finally picking team, different teams at least. And maybe I can catch up with you this week. Auburn, Georgia. The Deep South's oldest rivalry. Here I go again with Georgia. What do they do? Up, up here, down. get clobbered by Florida. Put a, and I predicted a walloping, and I believe they beat Kentucky was a walloping. Up here, Auburn, Auburn, Auburn. Wow. You, in the last two picks, you have picked Arkansas and Auburn. Are you insane? I am. Is something <laughs> wrong with you today? If, if the boss sees this episode, I'm probably going to be fine. Where's the if? Okay, when the boss sees this episode, I'm the probably going to be The boss and fine. your brother? Oh, boy. And Casey? I'm sorry. I like I hate Auburn. I don't care for Arkansas. But they're both going to win. Not so quickly, my friend. If you pierce my juggler <laughs> with a fork. You're going to bleed. I'm going to bleed horrifically. Georgia. At home. Sick them dogs. You're insane. Remember, up and down. Elevator season. Elevator season. We're on the way down now. I think I'm three picks ahead of you, and we're tied in upset picks, so who's the insane one? South Carolina. The Cox at the Gators. Did you see we had a, a, a couple of... A couple of Cox that met us outside. Yeah, I love... I love Is that a sign? Uh, no. Oh, no? No. No? As much as I want Muschamp to get fired, I think they're playing well, and well enough they're going to beat South Carolina, and then possibly help everyone else in the world out by taking care of, uh, you know, the old number one team. Number two. But the one, the one everybody wants to see. I'm, I'm off by I'm off by one on everything. My scores are wrong. My rankings are wrong. That's all right. We forgot. <coughs> you know, I, I wanted to say that that was an omen, a sign. But I'm going to have to agree with you on this one. I think the Gators are playing some good football. I'm like you. I, I'm ready to see the, a change down there in the swamp. But I don't think it's going to happen uh, right now. I like their quarterback, Treon Harris, and I like the Gators to get the win over a struggling South Carolina squad. Very, I mean, Spurrier, and the Spurrier might be the one that's on the hottest seat. Uh, Spurrier doesn't sit on a hot seat. Yeah, I know. Nah, he'll be back next year. He'll be back as many years as he wants to coach. Kentucky, Tennessee, Kentucky is dead to me. Remember they were 5-1? and one? Can you remember that far back they were 5-1? and one? And Everyone was saying this is the rebirth of Kentucky. I almost picked them to beat the number one team in the country at the time, for goodness sake. What has happened to Kentucky? It's all gone hill since their trip to Baton Rouge. Downhill is an understatement. <laughs> it's gone off the ravine. They are who we thought they were. At the end of the day, Vanderbilt will always be Vanderbilt, and Kentucky will always be Kentucky. I'm going Tennessee. You see, cover. I'm wearing orange. I'm not going to disagree with you. Cover? Yeah. Seven and a half? Easily. Now the team that nobody on planet Earth, Nostradamus, nobody. Nobody. Could, could have predicted. Nobody. Texas A&M to go in and put a, a whooping I mean, on Auburn last week. And the score wasn't an indication of what they really did to Auburn because they, they whipped Auburn. I mean, sure, Auburn was able to climb back into the game there at the end and make the score respectable and actually fumbled away two opportunities to maybe win the game. But I agree with you, Murph. <laughs> Texas A&M looked strong. Now we get to go back home to uh, Kyle Field, get to uh, host Missouri, who's not been all that great as of late. This one is is kind of the uh, 
I'll pick them up and flip them game to me. I wonder how Texas A&M will come off that win, whether they'll be kind of a letdown because of the huge win. They're really still inconsistent. I like that freshman quarterback at home. A&M. Close. Close. Okay, so it started out good, but now we're agreeing again too much. Oh, boy. And speaking of A&M, how about Mr. James oh, Bynum absolutely. of Sosa? Mr. James Bynum of Sosa. Picked Texas A&M to beat Auburn last week. Props ridiculed, to you, James. Ridiculed by both of us for picking that. We Called apologize. It, quite possibly we said the worst pick in the history of upset picks. <laughs> uh, we really Boy, were, were we wrong. Oh, uh, we really <laughs> gave it to him. But, James, you are... You are the man. So I, I, just to clarify, I'm agreeing with you. A&M over Missouri at home. Now, Mr. Bynum, we've given you your props for the pick. Now there's only two things left. Before we get to the game of the week, Murph. All right. Your five-game winning streak. Oh. <laughs> down the toilet last week. My mother actually took responsibility. <laughs> she said, I'm sorry. <laughs> I made you pick North Carolina State. She didn't make me pick anything. I said I picked it because of Russell Wilson. I thought they'd win. Boy, was I wrong. As I saw the scoreboard, keep going. And it was close. I think it was 7-6 to six maybe or 12-7. to It seven. was close early. It was 7-6. Oh, and then it became non-close real quick. <laughs> so, yeah, that was a horrific pick by me. So I, I'm, I buried that one. So five-game winning streak is over. But He's a grown boy, Mama Murph. He makes his own picks and has to live with them. I'm living with this. It was brutal. So we're six and five, each of us on the season. Who you like this week, Murph, to get back on the winning side? Well, I'd like an episode of Barney Miller right now. That'd be nice. I'm going out west. Go How west, far? young man. Way west. Way west. Left you see, coast. You see these beautiful trees mm -hmm. out here? There's a, oh. there's a school that has a tree mascot, Ooh. and they're hosting Utah. Utah, who probably could have beaten Oregon if it wasn't for Leon Lett Jr. dropping <laughs> the ball there. Um, I think they're just going to come out completely flat. They had a huge game against Oregon last week that went not the way they expected. Stanford to upset Utah in Palo Alto. It's not a bad pick. Thank you, Gurus. And of course, you catch me when I put food in my mouth. Always. I'm going to chew. It's okay. We can talk with food in our mouth. You sure? This is the South. Nobody cares? Nobody cares. They want mine. Nope. We have good cheese curds. This is the South. You know where cheese curds come from? Uh, what Daddy state? Curds. Keep going. Uh, 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 Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Wisconsin's got a big home game on Saturday, Murph. Who they got? Up in Madtown. Guess who's coming to town? One of your favorites. Abdullah. Abdullah Abdullah from Nebraska? In Nebraska. Oh, is he healthy? Foreign Huskers. Seven-point road underdogs. Seven, you, you know what? Nebraska, baby. Nebraska going to Madtown. Corn Huskers. Oh, how you like that? Some <laughs> corn for the Corn Huskers. Corn Huskers over the Badgers. I'm going to say Gaetano's Cheese Courage in Wisconsin. Ah, You're forget crazy about that about it. You're out of your forget mind. Forget about it. Pick. You're nuts. What kind of corn is this? We're well, throwing stuff all over the place. I'm gonna go feed the roosters after we're done. Very nice. I like it. Good pick though. Thank you. Abdul Abdullah is gonna get hurt in the first quarter. Wisconsin. Melvin Gordon's not even gonna play. Who's Melvin Gordon? Starting running back, leading the country in rushing. They always leave the country because they got. Because uh, they rush line. 712 times a game. Exactly. <laughs> you know, there was a kid at Porter's Chapel Academy in Vicksburg who was the leading scorer in the history of the school, got his number retired, plaque up on the wall. And I said, you know, if I was on the court and took 75 shots a game, I would be the leading scorer in the school, too. He'd go one on five and shoot it from 40. All right. Well, of course he's a leading scorer. You know, you take 75 shots a game. That doesn't impress me. It doesn't impress me. Calm down. Oh, I'm sorry. Calm down. Your blood pressure's getting up. We're going to have to go get more medicine. It's this guy Tangleberg, right? <laughs> All right. You're putting a nice roost on that. on that. There's one left. Probably the biggest game in the country this week. All eyes will be oh. on Tuscaloosa. I thought you were talking about Army. Uh, see, Army's you got missed that last week. You should have picked it. You I wanted should've. to pick I it. I did want to pick it. Okay, we're digressing. <laughs> Once again, I mean, who would have thought, right? What's going on in Tuscaloosa? The number one team in the country is playing. And it's Alabama's not Alabama. Alabama. Get out of here. Mississippi State. The Bulldogs coming to Tuscaloosa. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. Hmm. 
That's now, a fireball offense. There is some kind of crazy scenario that if it was state and everybody in a couple wins it. Actually, Texas A&M, I think, could still win the whole thing. Well, if we're going crazy scenarios, I think LSU's still in it then. They probably are. <laughs> and that's one damn fine football team. <laughs> strong, strong. Have a great day. Have a great day. Um, at home, Alabama's tough at home. Not many number ones come in there that aren't named Alabama. How do you see it? God, it's going to be, I think it's going to be a good game. Uh, a lot of people don't want to agree with me, and we can dissect it next week, but I'm sold on Mississippi State. I think they are who they think they are. Really? And I like the dogs for only the third time since 1958 to go into Tuscaloosa and take down the tide. That's twice you've done that. That's twice you've done that. I'm, I'm just trying to call it like a You know I love Alabama. Why can't you just pick Alabama? I, it's nothing against you. I just want to be right. You know I love Alabama. I, I, I understand. It's okay. But I like State, too. State's playing really, really good. What? I do. I like Dak Prescott. He's going to win the Heisman Trophy. Who Dak? Better than Bo Wallace. He's better than Cassius Clay. He's better than Sugar Ray. He's a bad man. But nobody walks into Tuscaloosa and expects to ring a what cowbell. It's not making any noise. It's not making any noise. It's not making any noise. Where'd the clanging go? I don't know. I don't know. State's not making any noise either, baby. Oh, roll tide. Well, All the way. There you have it. Murph goes tide. I'm going dogs. This is the guru. We've been at Gaetano Grill. want to thank them for just phenomenal burgers, cheese Great curds. Burgers. How were those uh, corn nuggets? Good? Wonderful. I'll give you a nugget. Okay, you just corn add, nugget. add it to the add mess. Add it to that. We'll mix it all together. Just chomp it all down. This has been a lot of fun. Thank you, Quick Lane Tire and Auto Center, for sponsoring the madness. Have a great weekend. Enjoy Where are we next the cool week? weather. Where are we next week? Happy fall, y'all. Happy fall, y'all. Next week. Sweet magnolias. Sweet magnolias. Sweet magnolias. Until then, for the Murph, I'm the guru. See ya. Roll Tide. Peace. They want to get my home on the ceiling.